Hello, this is Alexander Cross, Criminal Defense here in the San Francisco Bay Area. If you'd like to learn more about criminal defense, be sure to subscribe to our channel, Law Offices of Cross and Associates, and feel free to ask questions in the comments section below so that we can respond via video in the future. So we received an interesting inquiry here on our YouTube channel. This has to do with an attempt to have a sexual relationship with a minor. Criminal attorney, Modesto, sex with a minor, Modesto, sex crime, Modesto, attorney, Modesto. I was conversing with a woman through social media. She lied to me saying she was older and we set a date to meet each other. When getting in my car, I saw she was clearly a minor. As I was taking her to a restaurant, I was arrested. The police trapped me and I was arrested. Well, normally I would say that this was entrapment and it would be a complete defense. Let's talk about the beginning. First of all, okay, you were having a conversation with somebody who you believe to be an adult. If it clearly shows, you know, she, you, know, you asked her how old she was, she sent you a picture, yada, yada, yada. Okay, well, in that circumstance, in that circumstance, um, it would, uh, I would say, yeah, uh, so far you didn't do anything wrong. You know, you're having a conversation with somebody who you believe to be uh, an adult. However, the problem I have is you park the car and you see a 14 or 15 year old come up, somebody who clearly is a minor. She gets in your car. First of all, why'd you let her in the car? You should say, well, well wait a minute, who are you? Well, I'm so-and-so. Well, aren't you 35? No, uh, I lied, haha, <laughs> sorry. You're not taking some minor to a restaurant? No. I mean, at the moment she got in the car and you decided to take her to a restaurant, what was the point? What was the, uh, what was your purpose? Wouldn't you have been surprised and say, oh, you look a little young? Shouldn't that, that should have been the conversation. Let me see your ID. I don't trust you. Yeah. Because at that point, you're taking maybe a 16-year-old or whatever, or 15-year-old to a restaurant. What, what, what for? What, what, it, what, what was your intention? And granted, you might not have had intent to have sex with her, but now you're in a situation where now you're going to have to, you know, a, a DA is going to be suggesting that you are, and in a sense, you're going to have to convince otherwise. <laughs> That's, this is the problem right here. You know, the split second you even saw this person, shouldn't have let her in the car because now now there's the doubt now there's like oh what were you planning why were you gonna go to a restaurant now you're gonna have to have this whole situation of like you know uh, when she got in the car I realized she was a minor uh, I was gonna take her to a restaurant anyway to take her out I wasn't coming to crime. okay fine you probably didn't have the intention to have sex with her at that point but you know they're gonna compare that with the conversation where you were having with who you thought was an adult and then you're gonna have to, we're gonna have to get into what was going on in your mind between the time period that uh, you saw that she was clearly a minor and when you finally got stopped by the police on your way to the restaurant it's gonna be really necessary to know what was going on in your mind and really the only way that anybody would ever know that you know you're the only one that knew what was going on in your mind we don't know what the chit chat conversation was we don't know if she had a recording device heaven forbid in the recording device on your way to the restaurant you may have said something like oh yeah we're gonna do this we're gonna do that Ooh, that would be a major problem because now we're talking about a 288.4 arranging to meet with a minor for the purposes of having sex which carries up to three years state prison plus having to register as a sex offender for life so it's going to be very, very crucial to know what was going on because initially this may have been entrapment. Initially, this may have been entrapment, but the split second she got in the car and then you drove off anyway to go to the restaurant, uh, that part is a little questionable. So there's going to have to be a very, very, very serious amount of examination and cross-examination here. Regardless, if you'd like to learn more about criminal defense here in the San Francisco Bay Area, be sure to subscribe to our channel, Law Offices of Cross and Associates, and feel free to ask questions in the comments section below. But if you've been accused of a crime and need representation in court here in the San Francisco Bay Area, call us now for a free consultation at 1-800-862-7677. On our next video, we're going to be discussing the case of somebody who was on probation for a domestic violence case. Criminal attorney, Modesto, Sex with a minor, Modesto, sex crime, 
Modesto, Attorney Modesto.